hosted by Dr. Shocker. HMA and Mask Fest here at Harvard Weekend. It's one of the most exciting places I've ever been. These are some marvelous masks. Look at these wonderful things he's created. Well, we're going into Mask Fest. It's one of the most exciting places I've ever been. Well, it's not as exciting as, say, my bedroom. But it is very exciting. Mask Fest, part of the Harhound Weekend here in Indianapolis, Indiana. That's Indiana. That's in the United States. Where I go sometime. Here's the creator of Mask Fest. We've got a very exciting interview here with none other than Eric Austin, the man who brings you the HMA and Mask Fest here at Harhound Weekend. Are you having a wonderful time? I'm having an excellent time. Thank you, Dr. Sharker. Who is the most exciting person you've met this weekend? Daniel Roebuck, by far. Daniel Rob Daniel Roebuck's here? I hate that guy. I thought I told you I would not come if he was here. One of the great artists of Hollywood movie making, Bruce Spaulding. Fuller. Bruce, how do you do? Dr. Shocker here. It's nice to meet you. I love your masks. Now, you, you've you worked on many movies, such as? As um, the Underworld films, Army of Darkness, uh, Predator 2, AVP, the list goes on. I've known this man for 20 years, one of the greatest sculptors in town. Live to tell the tale. I have lived. Not, well, not that he... Sort of. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You paid eight dollars for a dead thing. That's just disgusting. What will you do with that? I'm going to put it on my shelf and stare at it and poke it a couple times. What a lovely young girl. These are the kind of girls that Dr. Shocker enjoys. The kind that buy dead things. Sir, Devil's Workshop. Are you the devil? I, I am not the devil. <laughs> Yet you run Devil's Workshop? Yes. Tell us your real name. My name is Pete. Pete Infeliz. Pete Infeliz. These are some marvelous masks. I've, I, unbelievable. We see a little influence of the Uncle Creepy there. Not, not close enough to be sued, of course. But I see you've got a lot of crazy people. Uh, these, these are very interesting because this is what Pete's done is he's taken the famous monster's cover and he's, he's extrapolated into mask form. Or he has made another way for me to spend my money here at Mask Press. Dan Thompson, one of the great wax sculptors, works with Henry Alvarez Studios, works independently himself as well. Look at these wonderful things he's created. Uh, that's my first mother-in-law, and of course my second mother-in-law. No, just kidding. Uh, Dr. Shark is not married, if you're single. Uh, Dan, uh, when did you begin uh, this uh, mask monster world? Uh, about 12 years ago. This is only 12 years of sculpting. Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. Here we have Bill Diamond and Tom Keebler, the great sculptor, wax maker, figure maker. We'll look at some of his stuff later. And you have a, a marvelous new network here, MonsterTVNetwork.com, Bill? Yes, I do. Yes, we have, we have the great, the characters are all running the network. So they're out there talking to everybody, having a great time. I hear you're coming on. Uh, yes, yes, I was, uh, well, I lost a bet. So I did end up on the MonsterTVNetwork.com. I wasn't happy to be there. The puppet was funnier than me, and nobody could blame me for being mad. All right, look, here's Tom Keebler, the wonderful sculptor, and look at these wonderful creations he's created. Uh, tell, us, tell us what inspires you to do this, Tom. It's almost as if Mr. Hyde were a transvestite. And so that's kind of what I was going after here. They all have little stories on the website, tomkeebler.com. This is the Necrobot which is a corpse regenerated with electricity and uh, powered electronically, um, old world style. Uh, of course, the little clown. Nothing creepier than a little clown. Nothing creepier than a little clown. Unless, of course, you've seen some pictures of me on the internet. Zo Grandma Hoodoo and Zombie John, tell us about that. Well, it, this piece was one of the few pieces that I literally made up as I was working on it. And it started out, I just wanted to do an old Blackwater Bayou Swamp Witch, which I call Grammy, Granny Hoodoo. 
and uh, I wanted to perch her up high looking down on all of us. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to explain. You're such a talented man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, oh my goodness, look Look here, we've got a beautiful woman at Mask Fest. I love Mask Fest and beautiful women. What, what's your name? Kitsy Duncan. Hello, you look familiar to me. I'm an actress. Oh, I'm that... Inspiring actress. Oh, uh, no, I, you, you, you've come to the right place. Dr. Shaka is casting something. Uh, <laughs> what What brought you here to Mask Fest? Um, I, I have some friends that I came to visit here, and I always come to see Daniel Roba. Uh, you come to... Why? Because he's one cool dude. You're talking about the actor Daniel Roebuck? Oh yeah, yeah, he's awesome. Have you met him? No, I wouldn't waste my time. Well, so there's just proves that a pretty girl sometimes not so bright. Something very exciting around this corner. Now, as you may or may not know, Dr. Shocker's a big fan of horror movie collectibles. In fact, you could see Dr. Shocker's House of Horror on Daniel Roebuck's website, but check it out and go to the bottom of the House of Horror link. Come around the corner with me. Here we have something amazing. Look, it's the Universal Monster Army mask display, mask and toy display. This is the work, tireless work of many people in the Universal Monster Army. Check out these wonderful things. We have old Topstone masks and Halloween figures and some of Dr. Shocker's favorite Imagineering products. Many years ago, Dr. Shocker would put on oozing orbs and evil teeth and vampire blood. Fantastic. Ah, oh, look. Yes, yes. It looks like Dr. Shocker's progeny, doesn't it? Ah, oh, they're cute little munchkins, aren't they? We're watching here the monster craze, the great Taylor White's face frozen on screen. I don't know why. There's Ah and the great Alice Cooper talking. That's from a little show called Halloween the Happy Haunting of America, hosted by Dr. Shocker. But I'm sure you knew that. Hello. Ah, you've been sitting here a while, have you? And uh, what, what's your favorite part about Mass Fest? I don't, I don't think they're alive. Let's find something else to do. The Witch's Dungeon is one of Dr. Shocker's favorite places. It's one of the oldest operating Halloween exhibits in the entire country. In fact, I think it is the oldest. This is the stylish work of many artists, including uh, the caretaker of The Witch's Dungeon, Cortland Hall. We have, of course, the real tuxedo worn by Vincent Price. That's uh, House of Wax. Vincent Price is Dr. Fibes. And Henry Hall, the, uh, the amazing werewolf of London. That's him there. Wonderful display. What's this here? Who? Dan Autographs Daniel Ro Daniel Roebuck. Look at this. What? I look. Come here. Come here. I've never seen. I've never seen such unprofessionalism. He's not only is he not here, but his autographs are always free. Who wants his autograph? Nobody. But he does have the common sense to sell this here, the wonderful Dr. Shocker mask. Do you have one? Why not? Ask yourself that. How do you live with yourself? Get out of my sight if you don't have a Dr. Shocker mask. I'm sick of looking at you. Go away. <laughs>